Here's how to combine multiple files with inconsistent column headers just by using your Power Query interface and no encode needed. First, we need to create a column names table with the old column names and new column names. So for example, some of our Excel files have rep underscore name as the column header and some have rep and some column names are correct and don't need to be renamed. So in our column names table, we need to include both these names under old names and we want them both to be renamed to sales rep. I've called this file call names. In a blank workbook, let's click on data, get data from file from Excel workbook and double click on call name. Here in the navigator window, let's select this table and we can see it has our old and new column names and click on transform data. Here in our query editor, let's rename this query to call names. Next, we need to load our sales data. So let's go to the folder that it's located in and right click and copy the folder path. Let's go back to our query editor, right click on the queries pane, go to new query, file and click on folder. And let's paste our folder path here and click open. This dialog box shows us the files that Power Query has found in our folder, which are the three files. Let's click on Combine and Transform Data. Here in the Combine Files dialog box, Power Query selects the first file in our Sales Data folder as the sample file. You can select any file that you prefer, but I'm going to leave Region 1 as the sample file and let's select Sheet 1. And here on the right, we can see the contents of that sheet. And let's click OK. Here are all the queries that Power Query created for us to get to this end query here, which is the combined sales data file. But if we take a look at the combined data, we can only see region 1 data and all the other regions show null values. Why can we not see region 2 and 3 sales data? Well, that's because we selected region 1 as our sample file in the Combined Files dialog box. And that's the file structure that Power Query will use when combining the rest of our files. And as each of our files have different column headers, we're not going to see all our files data. So this is where renaming our column headers to all be the same will aid in combining our files. But where should we perform this renaming transformation? We have two queries, our transform sample file and the end sales data query with our combined files. If we need to fix data that's not combined correctly, we always need to implement the fix before combining the data. So we won't make the change in the end sales data query. Instead, we will make it here in the transform sample file. And here on the right are the steps that Power Query performed on the sample file. Let's remove the promoted headers step and our column names are demoted to the first row. Next, ensure column one is selected and in the transform tab, select transpose. And now our column names of our sample file are all in column one. Next, let's go to the home tab and click on merge queries. And here in the Merge dialog box, we have our Transform Sample file as the first table to merge. And let's select Call Names as our second table. Next, select Column 1 from our first table and Old Names from our second table, as these are the columns that we want to match. Let's keep our Join Kind as the default, which is the left outer, and click OK. We have this new column called Call Names. And if we click to the right of one of these tables, we can see the old name and the new name. Next, let's select the expand icon and let's uncheck old names, as we have the old names here in column 1, and click OK. And we have our new column names. Next, let's go to the Add Column tab and click on Conditional Column. Let's call this new column Renamed Columns. And here's where we will write our condition for renaming our columns. But before we get to that, if you would like even more Power Query tips, tricks, and exclusive discounts to my upcoming courses, please be sure to subscribe to the Query Editor.
It's my free weekly newsletter delving into all things Power Query. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to our video. If call names dot new names equals null, then we want our output to be a column, which is column one. Else, our output should be the values in the call names dot new names column, and let's click OK, and we have our new names here in renamed columns. Next, let's select column one, hold down the control key, and select call names dot new names, right click and select Remove Columns. Let's right-click on Renamed Columns and go down to Move to Beginning and we have our new column names in the beginning of our query. Ensure Renamed Columns is selected and in the Transform tab, click on Transpose and Transpose has restored our headers. But they're in the first row. So let's click on this table icon on the left here and click on Use First Row as Headers. And we now have our renamed column headers in our sample file. Let's click on the Sales Data Query as this is where all our data is combined. It has an error because of the Change Type step. Let's remove this step and our error is fixed. And our column headers have all been renamed to the same column names and all our region sales data have been correctly combined. In our next example, our tables have been loaded into Power Query in exactly the same way as example one. We're using the same call names table that shows us our old and new column names. And we're using the same sales data as before. And we can see that the final query also only shows region one sales data and region two and three show null values as the sample file is based on our region one data. Next, Let's click on the transform sample file query as this is where we need to perform our transformation on the sample file. Remember this transform sample file is based on our region one sales data. We have the three applied steps that Power Query has performed on our region one data. On the add column tab, select index column and we have a new index column added to our table. Right click on the header of the index column and select Unpivot Other Columns. Power Query has flattened the table. Our column headers are now in the Attribute column and the values of our table are in the Value column. Let's rename Attribute to Column 1. Next, let's go to the Home tab and click on Merge Queries. And here in the Merge dialog box, we have our transform sample file as the first table to merge. Let's select call names as our second table. Next, select column one from our first table and old names from our second table as these are the columns that we want to match. Let's keep our join kind as the default, which is the left outer, and click OK. And we have this new column called call names. And if we click to the right of one of these tables, we can see the old name and new name of our columns. Next, let's select the expand icon and let's uncheck old names as we have the old names here in column one and click OK. And we've expanded our new column names. Next, let's go to the add column tab and click on conditional column. But before we get to that, did you know that only 9% of you watching are subscribed? If you're getting value from this video, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Let's call this new column, new column headers. And here's where we will write our condition for renaming our columns. If call names dot new names equals null, then we want our output to be a column, which is column one. Else, our output should be the values in the call names dot new names column and let's click OK. And we have our column with the new column headers. Next, let's select column one, hold down the control key and select call names dot new names, right click and select remove columns. Let's right click our new column headers and go down to move to beginning. And we have our new column names column at the beginning of our query. Next, ensure new column headers is selected and in the transform tab, let's click on pivot column 
And for the values column, let's select values as this is where our table values come from. Then for the advanced options, let's select don't aggregate and click OK. And our headers have been restored. And we now have our renamed column headers in our sample file. Let's click on the sales data query as this is where all our data is combined. It has an error because of the change type step. Let's remove this step and our error is fixed. And our column headers have all been renamed to the same column names and all our region sales data have been correctly combined. Let's remove the index column as we don't need that in our end query. Now, if you feel these steps are just too many and they may slow down your query, then I highly recommend you watch this video here, where I show you how to rename your column headers with just one line of code.